Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So the Titans set to go to work for the first time. And leading them out there, their 6'5 quarterback. Every quarterback in the NFL has a little bit of his own signature style out there, but for this guy, he really plays the game in a different way. It's led to a couple double takes from us up here as we see him as something truly unique. It's not that he's just the strongest passer or the best athlete to ever play the position. He just has a certain way of seeing the action and it allows him to make some special plays out there. Second down, eight to go from the 28. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Throwing on second and eight. Jones. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Looking to throw, Jones. Catch made by the running back, Aaron Jones. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Second down and three. Again, he'll drop to throw. Short throw caught by Pitts. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. Back to throw again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. Now a second and ten. They'll look to throw again. Got this complete to the tight end pit. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Operating from the gun, Jones. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown! Kyle Pitts, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. They'll be led out by the seventh overall pick in 2018 from Wyoming. It's Josh Allen. This guy's leadership is so important to how this offense functions. He doesn't shrink from any moments on game day, and everything he does, he does with confidence. He sets the example in practice off the field and is the guy leading everyone out for each possession. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. On play action, Allen. And his throw is incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 
When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Now Allen again. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Do I see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset? This is the kind of play that will do it. You first third and long. This is almost sort of a give up play. You're just hoping to get something positive, and it winds up breaking big, and they convert on third down. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But if the strong safety position end up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Here's Mostert. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Once again, it's Mostert. And he'll take this into the end zone for the Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Boy, two long, sustained drives by each team to start things out. It's kind of similar to how the pitch clock has shortened baseball games. That means we'll be out of here quickly if we get a few more drives like that. We're in the second quarter now, and we've only had one drive apiece, each of which have ended with touchdowns. Allen will try to throw for it. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack and a big sack at that. This remains a one-point game. So why go for that there? First half, you could have tied the game at seven. Why try to get the lead? Feels like an analytics call, doesn't it? That that's starting to really get into the game where they're studying where you can make extra points and the whole deal and you know get an advantage. But I don't know that we have enough data yet to really say this is the right play or the wrong play. Maybe in two or three more NFL say, that seasons. Could change. Exactly. Two or three more NFL seasons, they will have a much better study and a much better case of what we're going to do. Now Jones, able to hook up with Williams here on the out route. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do in that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Throwing Jones. Short throw caught by Pitts. Finding room at midfield. Down the sideline he goes. And he will step out of bounds here inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range as well, down at the 17-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got it to Williams. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Facing a second and three. Ball on the 10.
Looking to throw. Jones. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Jones will try and run with it. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Back to throw. Jones. And it's a Titans touchdown. Kyle Pitts in the final seconds of the first half. And the Titans will extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is up to eight. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. Four seconds, all that remain here in this first half as the kick gets away. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. No, I'm not mad at you for skipping halftime, but... Can I just have a sip of water real quick, please? Thank you. All right, let's go. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Third quarter starts with a run from Mostert. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down. Here's Mostert again. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 67 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go round. they want to throw the football like crazy. But the Looking right side, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And the Titans will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They'll start following the interception in great field position at the 45. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it'll be second down. They'll fake the jet sweep and instead of give up the middle to Williams. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. Now here's Michael Dixon, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. <laughs> Dolphins offense returning to the field. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because... Everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. On play action, Allen. And this is caught by Evans. And he's brought down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. There's Evans again. Complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out 
on this third quarter. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. play fake. His throw complete right side of the tight end Parham. Touchdown Dolphins. Donald Parham, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Dolphins have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. That's caught at the two, but he is not going to make it. It's a big play by the defense, and they're going to hold on to their two-point lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. This a very important drive. And that incompletion leads to a very important third down here if they're going to try and get the football back. Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances to try and win this game. I would expect a lot of pressure here. They can't afford to let them continue to get first downs and eat away at the clock. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. That's fielded at the eight-yard line. A great return there of 22 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Josh Allen in the offense now. Down by two, a minute 50 to play. And they need at least 30 yards, you'd have to think, here to move the football to have a shot. Here's Allen on the ground. It's Mostert to start the drive. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. A six-yard pickup. Allen, second down, here's Mostert again. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That one, they'll pay dividends. Three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Throwing Allen. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. To throw is Allen on first and ten. It's Mostert, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Second down, here's Mostert again. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Charles, what a big drive late in the fourth quarter to take this lead. 
and normal you're really excited if your offense has the ball late in the game but I think this crew is really excited to have their defense go back out there because they haven't surrendered a point in the fourth quarter yet they've helped make this comeback possible with their defensive play now they get a chance to finish this game off Nick Fulk for the point after And the lead is up to five. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And the Titans getting set to go. Well, Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Jones. That's caught by Pitts. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. To throw is Jones. Can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And Oliver, that time, will really get in there and bring him down. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Jones. Pass complete, Samuel. And pass the 40 before he's out of bounds. Here's first and 10. Now Jones. Hit as he releases it, and that will fall incomplete. One final shot now. I'm not even sure he can get it to the end zone, though, from this distance. That's going to take as much arm as he has, and you actually have to plan for the contingency. Maybe you're playing a tip, try and get someone down who can tip it up and keep it for your own team and try and get to the end zone that way. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty, and with that, the ball game is over. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.